Good day everyone and welcome to Exile News, the weekly show that brings you all the important news and informations on Path of Exile and the first news we got this week are all of the unique items that have been discovered so far of course it was at the beginning of the week so definitely more unique items have been discovered but still there's a lot of very interesting ones you can go and check all of those out especially this crazy uh, elder items it's three weapons and each of those is really really strong however they all have um, a problem meaning that you take 400 uh, of a specific elemental damage per second in a specific condition which is the condition which makes this weapon so strong so for example this wand is based on endurance charges and if you have an endurance charge uh, you get this 400 fire damage so you really have to work out how to use them maybe you can actually weapon swap with them so that would be interesting but it's it's very nice to see ggg trying to put some weird uniques that people actually have to figure out how to use instead of very straightforward ones also now we know that these uh, feather kind of things which is actually a wand is not an, an alternate art for the raw feather which is Disappointing, I'd say. Anyway, we also got a new tab, which is the map stash tab. And, well, we always speak about power creep in the game, as in actually killing monsters. But, oh my god, did the stash tabs really creep in power lately? I mean, you have a stash for pretty much everything, and the one for the maps is absolutely nuts. It basically holds 72 maps for every single type of map that you can get so that's actually i don't even know how many but it's a lot you can see here it has selected the, the tier 2 of the map and then you have a slot here for all of the tier 2 maps and for each of this map you have an inventory that you can fill so you have 72 slots for every single map in the game so well this tab is absolutely nuts it's around 15 euros and it's absolutely a must have if you play uh if you actually get to end game and start doing maps you absolutely have to get this one unless of course you already have a lot of tabs uh, which you can uh, spare for your maps but still it's just way too easy to actually uh, use this tab it's also it's also really handy, you just control click all of the maps and they just go into the right place. So yeah, it saves a lot of time, so it's definitely uh, it's definitely really strong. Uh, well, I mean, I guess this will give more arguments to the pay to win thing, because this is definitely uh, something really strong that you can only get by paying. So, well, you can judge by yourself. But it's definitely a must-have if you actually play Path of Exile for more than once and you get to the endgame maps. Also, GGG came out and kind of gave us an overview of what they are going to do in the future. And that's the very near future because first of all, uh, there should be the Xbox release. The original plan was to be for it to be released on next week pretty much. So. GG still hasn't said anything about that, so we don't really know the exact day, but it should be uh, next week, so hopefully that's gonna come. Also, um, right now it's summer in New Zealand, which is really weird if you live in the northern hemisphere of the globe, but still, uh, it's summer right there, and it's also going to be holidays in a, in a week or so, so many devs will actually be at home, and uh, when they will be back, uh, GG or rather the company, is going to go into full development of the 3.2.0 update, which um, is the actual update that's coming in March, so that's pretty interesting. Also, there's a lot of fixes that GG is actually planning very soon, the first one being actually improvements to the Abyss League and the Abyss visibility itself. Also, GG finally released the two uh, supporter packs for these leagues and uh, this time instead of going uh, one of $30 and another one at 60 they went for two similar supporter packs both having full body armor, a full set of armor, um, weapon glows and a portal 
so you can see those and they are both priced at 50 euros or something similar if you have a different value and well we shall see how it goes personally I like the Bisa Limp and yeah I guess that was all for this week so if you enjoyed the video leave a like and a comment down below also if you want to remain updated every week be sure to subscribe to my channel so that was all I've been your host Orzo and I'll see you guys the next time